Hello, so in this video I'm trying to uh, show you how to install Flutter uh, using a, using a computers with very uh, low specs, a computer for example that has 4 uh, gigabyte of RAM, so that's doable, so we will try uh, to see the steps. Uh, no, so the first thing to do is like to go to the website of uh, Git and download uh, uh, the Git uh, softwares. So you need to just click. Uh, depends on how many bytes you got in your computers. Uh, so you have just to wait till uh, the Git ends and you start installing it. So once you have uh, downloaded the Git, so I have already downloaded it and I've already installed it. So once you have done this, what, what you can, what you have to do next is to go to uh, to uh, to the C. Uh, partitions so you can create a folder here any any kind of folder and you name it for example flutter okay so i i will be i will be naming it flutter and you you click on okay and uh what you need to do you open uh, cmd command line uh you come on here so you you go to uh you just you have to navigate to your created folder uh, now we are, what, we, what we are trying to do is we are going to install Flutter. So uh, I will be doing this and and this. Okay, and then Flutter. So uh, we I suppose at this step you have already installed Git. Okay. So what to do next is uh, to go to the website of uh, Flutter. So I will be adding all the links. Uh, below, uh, you go to the website of Flutter, uh, just here. Uh, I'm going to install it on Windows. Uh, you just uh, copy all this line of code from the git till the stable word. So you have to copy this, and you once you are in the folder that we have already created, you passed all uh, this link. Okay. So you click on, uh, yeah, you you uh, okay, you type enters and you wait until the uh, uh, the download is is completed. So I, I have already uh, gone through uh, these processes. So uh, I'll just close it now. At the end, you will get a file. I will show you how it looks like. Uh, so I have done uh, already the process with. The, in this folder, so at the end you will get only one folder called Flutters uh, with the green mark here. So if you want to see if uh, Flutter is is well uh, installed, so what we can uh, do is uh, go to to this for to this file, uh, Flutter uh, console point path, and this is the console uh, related to Flutter. So what you can do just check. For example, if Flutter is well installed, I will, so I will be checking the version, for example. So version, uh, wait a little bit till the version will be displayed. So uh, at this stage, you have uh, already uh, downloaded uh, the full uh, SDK Flutter. So what we need to check uh, is uh, whether uh, Flutter is, is so that's the versions, that's the response. So we got the, la the last versions. So the next step is, so we have you, we have uh, checked the version version using uh, the Flutter uh, console uh, command. Well, what we want to do next is to check the versions using the command prompt, okay? The general one. So if, we, if I do this, in some cases, so in my cases, I've already added uh, the, the, the environment variable. Uh, if I do the versions, I will get the response. However, in your case, what you, what you can do is just to go to uh, to to uh, you have to type here env, okay? Env, and then you have to navigate to uh, the, the the environment uh, variables here. So I click here. I I, I have to navigate to path here. And what I have to do is uh, to add it where uh, I have installed uh, uh, Flutters. So in my case, for example, I, I've installed it, I've downloaded it in the Flutter CRC Flutter bin. Okay, so you have to add the, the bin uh, path uh, in, in, uh, in your uh, 
environment uh, variable so uh, once it's done you have to apply click ok ok and just you came to the cmd and check the versions and here uh, the version is shown which means that uh, flutter now is as well uh, uh, configured so uh, the next step is to download uh, Visual Studio. So you have to go to the official websites. You have to just to click uh, download for Windows. And uh, you have to check for, uh, uh, the download will start uh, automatically, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and then you have just to wait for, for it to, to, to finish. So now it, it, the size is only 60 megabytes, which is not, as big as uh, Android Studio, so that's that's the purpose of, of this video. So we're trying to install Flutter using uh, very low computer specs. Uh, so I have already installed it. I want to I want I want to download it again. So I have already installed it. So once you install video, uh, you have to do next, next, next till uh, till the last steps. So there is nothing special about it. So once you uh, end the installation process, so we, you will get a welcome page like that one. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is to go here uh, to the extension. So we click here and we write here Flutter. Uh, and, and just uh, we can, uh, we have to install the Flutter first. So in my case, it's already uh, installed. So I want uh, install it. So you have just to click install and then you have to search for dart and you okay so dart and you have to click here and just install uh dot i have already installed so once all these steps are achieved what we're we going to do next so we have installed a uh, we have uh, we have downloaded uh sdk flutters we have installed uh, uh vs studio so the final step is going to be uh, so we are going to create uh, a new project so to create a new progress you have to do uh, uh control shift p or you have just to to click on views and comment palettes and here you have new, oh, many options so you have to type flutters and uh, new new project and you see it here so once i click on the new projects i have to choose uh, the folder for which i will uh, save in this project so you can choose any folders that you, you you have or can you create any any folders in in in, in your computers for example if you click on that folders and you click select a folder to create the project now we have to provide the project name okay so uh, regarding the project name you have to use only lower cases uh, lower case letters so uh, uppercase won't be uh, won't be accepted so uh, we we hit enters and we wait uh, the creation of the project so you will see a small uh, window at the bottom here showing uh, the process of creating <coughs> the, the project so it will take a uh, fewer seconds in i think and we have just to wait a little bit until the the project is uh, is being created okay here is the project as, as you see here uh, our our project name flutter applications and here is the main class in the called main uh, main main dot here so the next thing uh, we will try to do is uh, i want to see uh, my applications running on on my smartphones or running any on any kind of virtual smartphones so th that's the ne next thing we will try to cover so uh, the purpose uh, of this video i i, I just repeat it uh, is uh, to run flutters and low spec uh, computers so what we try to do next is trying to run uh, flutters on our uh, uh, our smartphones okay using a USB cable so what we need to do at this step you have first to enable uh, the developers tools on your smartphones I will show you how to do so so to enable uh, developers tools I'm showing you my uh, phone's uh, screen so we have to go to uh, settings and we have to scroll down uh, to see. So uh, we can see the developer options that I have already activated, but I'm going to show you how to activate it. So you have to click on about phone and you have to click on software informations. 
uh, and then we have to uh, click many times on uh, build number and uh, till uh, till a message will be showed up here saying that uh, developer mode has uh, or uh, has been turned on in my case is already turned on that's why it's showing me saying to me okay the developer mode has already been uh, <coughs> been on so I have to go back and uh, to scroll down I will see an options here called developer options so I have to click on that options and I have to activate as you see here it's already um, activated also I have to scroll down and activate uh, USB debugging okay so that's very important for our VS studio to 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 be able to detect our phone in in, in the features so once everything is is done here so what what we can do we ha we can just uh, go to the VS and we have to connect our uh, USB uh, our uh, smartphones uh, using the USB we have to wait a little bit uh, and as you can see here so uh, at the bottom you will see my smartphone has been already detected very quickly so what I can do is like trying to run uh, this code uh, okay run without debugging so the first run will take a quite of time. So it will, get, it will take some, some time, the first one. But after the first run, so uh, your VS will be very quick to run your, your code. So uh, I'm using here a tool to uh, show you uh, what the screen I'm seeing, I'm showing, or I'm seeing on my uh, on my smartphones uh, what we'll try to do next I will show you a very useful tool that we you will we will be uh, downloaded together to uh, mirror your uh, smartphone screens on, on your computers uh, without uh, using the software I'm using actually so that's much more better uh, softwares uh, so we have to wait a little bit till our applications will be shown on, on the smartphone so once uh, the run uh, ends, uh, you will see uh, the applications that is being uh, run uh, on, on your smartphones. As you can see here, I'm sharing with you my, the screen of my smartphone. So uh, the problem of this uh, mirror link, for example, default application that we can interact, for example, that's only an image coming from the smartphones. So uh, next, uh, I will try to show you how to use another tool a very useful one that you can uh, mirror your uh, phone image to, to, to your computers and uh, interact uh, as well with, with the applications. So the tool, so the tool uh, we will be downloading from the GitHub. Uh, so that's the tool. So uh, SCRCPI, uh, we have to download the Windows versions. So you have to scroll down and you download that versions okay so i will try to download it so uh it will take uh, it depends on your uh bandwidth uh however once the download uh, ends uh, in my case uh create i will prepare already uh a new folder so i will try to create a new a new folder i will try to name it for example uh let's say uh Okay, let's say uh, mirror phone, just to remember what the application does. So we just come back to uh, the download. So the download has been ended. What we have to do is like to copy the downloads and uh, bring it and bring it to uh, the folder that we have just created. I have to bring it here. So unzip the file. Now I have to extract the files. So once you uh, install, you once you download uh, the tool. So what we have to do is to go to open the CMD command line and just to navigate to the folder. So mirror prone. And uh, what we have to do here is like uh, is just run uh, this this file. So scr cpu and hit enters. So what we're going to see next, you're going to see your phone projected here. So so 
the advantage of this is like the phone is already projected and I can uh, I can uh, interfere with with uh, the UI of the phones as you can see here so if that's that's the phone that actually I'm, I'm trying to I'm using uh, Visual Studio I'm running the app that is given by defaults and projecting the app to my uh, phone who is uh, which is connected via USB cable and projecting the phones to this window that I can use to uh, work to work comfortably with uh, with uh, with <laughs> VS and using flutters so that's that's in my opinion that's the best way uh, to use very low specs computer so I'm testing a very low spec computer of four gigabytes and it's working perfectly so you don't need to use the underwood studio who will <coughs> really uh, uh, consume a lot of your RAM. So that, that's for today. Uh, see you next time.